Oh, hey guys. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do a well set up a good um Cinema 4D render um for your Minecraft or you know for whatever else you need. Um, this is one of my um drafting my drafts I've been working on. Um, and I'm gonna demonstrate the render with this. Um, this is this start off render is called the draft render. Um, it's just a basic one that is set up when you're just doing your normal animating and as you can see there's no shadows and like it turns all black if it turns all bad and if you go out more you see that the sky is all black so I'm going to show you how to make a really nice um, render as the thumbnail has shown okay um Let's get into it. First up, we'll just create a sky. So click on the, hold down on the light, click on sky. Just double click for a new texture and just drag that one on. Now you should see that the black has turned into white. That makes it more like a daytime thing. And then what you want to do is um, create a, um, you want to go into your render options. Um, which is this one here um, if it says we're down here it says render settings so you just click on that one uh, render settings control B and it should come up with the settings okay so the output you want to click on the triangle and change the width and height to a um, HDTV 1080p so you go down to film and video and HDTV 1080 25 and you can just leave everything else then if you want a more better render but it would take a lot longer click on the anti-aliasing and click on none to best and you can set it as animation or still image if you're doing an animation or a render image then you want to click on the effect this will change well actually I'll just show you this this has made a little bit of a difference. As you can see, it takes a lot longer to render. Good. Now to add the um, extras, you want to click on your Control B or your render settings. You want to click on Effect, Ambient Occlusion. This is for like shadows and everything. And straight away, you can see the difference it has made. It will take a lot longer to render again, but it is a massive difference. But you can kind of see it there. Okay, and you can open it again. Click Effect Global Illumination. This will take a long time if you have it um, just set like this. As you can see, this will take forever. Um, so to speed it up, you just want to click on where it says dot this one here and this one here. I can't really say that. So you click on Medium, set it to Low set it for both of them and you should see now it should take a little bit quicker I should yeah get into it straight away this has made another massive difference as you can see here it give it gives the water some nice shadows and a reflection effects and it just makes everything a lot more like um, less pixely I can say that and you want to open it again and just show some extras um, you can give it a um, lens effect and an object glow. Okay, now you've got that done. You kind of want some um, shadows for the amb ambient occlusion to um, give. So you want to click on your light. Just click on light, or you just click it like that. And you want to, before moving that, you want to click on the cube. You can select the plane, set the rotation on the R p axis um set it to 90 which should turn it onto the side and you want to make it a lot bigger so you can set it by like 50 by 50 by 50 and you should see it's created a massive plane okay and once you've done that <coughs> you want to click on your light click on general and turn the shadow 
This will set the shadows and turn it to area. Once you've done that, you need to create a texture for your um, plane to give off the illumination. And you want to just turn off color, turn off specular. You should have a black texture. And if you turn on luminance, this will give the illumination effect. Um, you just tick that, and that's all you have to do. And you can just drag that texture onto your plane. You can do it like that, or you can drag it onto the plane there. Okay, once you get got that done, you should now have some um, effects. So you can move this around now. Oops. You can move that around now. And give it some effects like that. I'll just show you the render so far. As you can see, I've got some metal textures in it. So I'll just show you that this all here is metal. So if I show you the render, I'll just skip it so it can fasten up. Okay, now you can see um, the render hasn't finished yet, but I'm, I'm just going to show you. The reflections and the um, the metal effect is looking a lot more realistic. And as you can see, there are shadows underneath objects. Um, it just gives it a lot more um, realistic effect. And like as you can see, the water has lots of reflections. Um, so yeah, that's um, basically it. If you have any um, questions, because this can be quite frustrating um, to learn, you can post a comment. Um, if you need any help with anything then also post a comment and um just thanks for watching and i hope you um subscribe to be notified to my new videos thanks